Hey guys, Josh of Bain Tech, and I've got a cheap eBay special clear snap-on case for the OnePlus One. I wanted to shoot a video, let you know what it feels like, if it's worth getting. I'll leave a link in the description of where I got it. Probably one of the biggest frustrations after the point of getting the OnePlus One is finding a case for it. Now I realize like there's nice, <laughs> If you're into the slim cases and like the minimal type cases, you're fine, you're good. There's plenty of those around. Like there's a plethora of snap-on cases and like styles like that. But like if you want rugged protection, there ain't nothing out there. Like the best there is, and this is not knocking Cruiser Light whatsoever, it's usually my daily driver, is a Cruiser Light TPU case. Like this is the most protective case that I've found for the OnePlus One. So this only costs like dollars on eBay. So that's why I got it because I'm holding off. This is hopefully just gonna get me by until someone makes a rugged case. And if you're a case company or if you're affiliated with one and watching this video, please, please, please make a rugged case for the OnePlus One. You'll be the only one that's making one. All right, so I'm off that little soapbox. Let's go ahead and get to this case. Let's just see what it looks like on the OnePlus One. Now, obviously it's clear and it's a snap-on case, so it's gonna be minimal protection. Basically, it's gonna help scratch protection against the back, against the sides. That's about it. And it's also, you know, it will protect some drops and whatnot, just depending on how it lands. What I'm really curious about is if this is going to be real fingerprinty. And I don't like glossy finishes most of the time because it does leave a lot of fingerprints. I kind of like the flat looks, the matte looks, and, you know, those kind of formats. Even, like, that's one of the nice things about Cruiser Light cases is that they're not glossy for the most part. On um, most of their cases, you're not going to tell any fingerprints are there or not. The way that I like to start a snap-on case is find where the most is going on. And the volume rocker is the biggest button, so I'm going to start on that one and then just snap it on in. All right, so here we are. First thing I noticed when I put this on was that there's no kind of lip on this at all. Partly due because the screen on the OnePlus One is raised above the phone frame itself. So it kind of rests on the outside of that screen on the bezel area. Which normally I do like that, you know, front face protection. Like if I do want to put the phone face down on a flat, smooth surface, I like to have a little bit of a raised edge. So you do get cutouts for your power and volume. So let's see how easy it is to get to that. It's pretty simple, which is actually... You know, it's somewhat of a deal breaker if it's hard to get to these buttons because they're really flat. Uh, you're going to need a good area to get those. Like this actually helps me find the volume and power buttons because I'm used to the Note 3 and I found myself trying to click the buttons way up here when they're actually down a bit further on the OnePlus One. So with this here, I know exactly where it's at. So that's pretty cool. So on the back end here, you got nice cutouts for the camera and the microphone here. So it's very precise. So I do like that part about it. Up at the top, we get a, you know, basically full exposure at the top and bottom, but there's a little bit of an indention here for the headphone jack. So just kind of depending on what kind of jack you got. If you got an L shape, you're gonna want, you know, full 360 rotation. And then you also got access to everything at the top. So whether it's a microphone or speaker, you got full access to it. Same here down at the bottom. You're not gonna have any issues whatsoever getting to the USB connection. Uh, the speakers are all exposed, so that's all exposed. One suggestion that if you like to be a little bit creative is that you could put something between the phone and the case here because it is clear. If you want a picture or some kind of you know fan art, if you have a favorite team or something like that, you could put a sticker behind here and decorate it. You know, just make it your own, make it more than just a clear case. You can do that with this kind of case. So that's a benefit of a clear case. One of the benefits to a clear case is like if you're the type of person that likes to see the entire design of the phone, you're gonna have that possibility with this kind of case. The downside of that is, you know, obviously it's a glossy plastic feel now versus that really awesome sandstone, but if you're concerned about protection and you just kind of want that kind of protection, this is going to be it for you. Another downer about this kind of material is that it might be a little bit slippery on like surfaces. Like if you put your phone, let's say on your lap in the car, it probably might slip away. So just be careful of that kind of stuff too. Also be careful with your pockets, depending how you're sitting. You don't want your phone to fall out of your pocket. Well, this has been my review on an eBay special case that I'll have a link in the description again of the exact one that I got. If you're interested in getting it, you can click it, get it. There's, again, there's so many of the same kind of cases out there on eBay and Amazon. But if you're needing something, this is definitely something to get you by until hopefully somebody makes a really nice rugged case 
which I need in some situations. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so so you can see more videos like this. Yeah.